in southern Alabama say they had a terrifying encounter with an alligator after the creature knocked them out of their kayak twice. Two women say a large alligator tossed them from their kayaks and terrorized them for more than 30 minutes. Alligator, how's a woman? How big is it? It's a huge gator. It's huge. I don't have anything to get to her. There's a moment out on the water when the unexpected becomes reality. We're exploring encounters that remind us the water is not just our playground, but home to creatures beyond our everyday sightings. Oh, this is intense. They're, they're underneath me. Watch out. This guy thought seeing a crocodile up close wasn't enough, so he had to open his mouth. But it looks like Croc took serious offense to his words and is ready to teach him some manners. Well, that was close. Watch out. Crocodiles are opportunistic feeders. They'll almost always pounce on something that catches their eyes, so you could lose your life. In such cases, crocs rarely leave the other person alone, so this guy should be thanking the deities. Watch out. See through snapper. Heading out to alligator infested water in a tiny vessel is bad enough, but a transparent canoe? That's practically seasoning yourself for the alligator. Gators naturally blend in with their environment, making them hard to spot until you're very close. They're also quite curious, but can't comprehend the invisible barrier between them and what they perceive as floating humans. So they'll be tempted to nudge the kayak in hopes of acquiring a meal. And let's just say they won't always be this nice. A mother's love. In 2016, YouTuber Owen Bijorgan and Dave Tebbit ventured into a Florida swamp and almost walked into motherhood. The duo knew the swamp was infested with alligators, but they were filming to prove how remarkable these creatures are and decided to fish out baby gators to show the audience. That's when things fizzled out. Just as Owen pulled a baby gator and began examining it, a mama gator emerged from the darkness and rushed toward him with clear menace in her eyes. Luckily, Owen saw her coming and was close enough to drop the baby back in. But when he reviewed the entire scene, he realized any inch closer and he wouldn't have survived. Let's hope the duo learned their lesson and won't be bothering animals anymore. Snack Jump At your feet. Oh, my God. oh God! God, no! It must be so terrifying to see one of nature's most ruthless predators casually try to hitch a ride. But do you ever wonder why they do that? Such behavior isn't all that uncommon in areas with alligator populations. Tourists and residents tend to feed local gators, which causes them to associate all visitors with food, leading them to approach other boats in anticipation of being fed. Of course, not everyone expects that, so things can take a frightening turn. Luckily, this crew had a brave helper on on deck. At your feet. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God, no. Sea puppies. <laughs> this happened during an alligator tour when the tour guide lured out a local gator with food. It seems like this isn't the gator's first rodeo, as it effortlessly makes its way to the guide. It's not unusual for gators to warm up to frequent visitors, and if they're pretty young, it's even easier for them to open up to strangers. So we do know how this tour guide accomplished this. Seeks out food, gets hangry when said food is held out for a few seconds, and enjoys scratches? Yep, this gator has officially morphed into a golden retriever. Come on, come on, get up here. Now who's a good girl? Aww. 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 Cowabunga! Imagine casually floating over a river monster and still retaining enough neurons to capture the sight. If it were me, I would have fainted right there and then. This is just a manatee, but while those gentle creatures are typically perceived as loving and calm, their sheer size gives us a good glimpse into what would happen if they went rogue. 
In some cases, manatees find unwanted visitors disturbing and will lash out. Luckily for the boaters, this one didn't look like it was in the mood to get up. You know, looking at this makes me wonder if all those stories we heard about mythical sea creatures were just manatee sightings. Well, still scary. Reptile Rovers. <laughs> Filmed by a couple of tourists boating on the Adelaide River, this is one of the craziest things you'll ever see. Although these reptiles are vicious predators, they are also opportunistic feeders, which means they will leap at every chance for free food. <laughs> so if you spend enough time heading up to a crocodile and feeding it something with each trip, the crocodile will associate you with goodwill. In a way, you would be the crocodile's food-bearing savior. Of course, this can take a turn for the worse. You can't predict a wild animal's behavior. Slithery robbers. The number one rule of fishing in Florida is not getting too close to the water because there's always bigger fish in the sea. The second rule would not be to bring kids close to such areas. But I guess one dad really wanted his son to bring home a good dinner. Initially believing he'd caught a big fish, the father kept encouraging his son to pull the rod. You got it. You got it. He even told his son to get as close to the shore to ensure he'd made the catch. Until out popped a gator and stole his catch. Luckily, the boy had quick instincts and he instantly dashed away from the gator. But I bet he and his dad got quite an earful from mom when she saw this video. Justified encounter. This is intense. They're, they're underneath me. Look, the tiger's got the turtle underneath me. One man's attempt to try a unique challenge got him in hot waters. Brody Moss accepted a survival challenge of spending 24 hours in waters with a known tiger shark population. And just as the entirety came to a head, Moss encountered one particular shark that wasn't ready to let go. Just as a turtle found its way close to Moss's transparent canoe, so did the hungry tiger shark, which initially chased after the turtle. Oh, this is intense. They're, they're underneath. But it looks like the turtle decided to use Moss's canoe as a barrier, which ended up motivating the tiger shark to chase him instead. Luckily, the tiger shark got a nibble of the paddleboard. Sharks often bite things to perceive if it's edible, so Moss is extremely lucky this one got a good chunk of his vessel instead. Oh, Tails end. Incoming! Whoa! An inch closer and that tail would have seriously tilted the entire boat. This happened during a whale watching tour off the coast of Nova Scotia. Just as promised, tourists got to see a humpback up close, but they didn't expect it to collide with them. In such collisions, both parties can be hurt. A whale's weight becomes an incredible force, so it can cause harm. Meanwhile, boats can also hurt a whale's tail. Luckily, they were all safe. But boy, was that a trip. Karen Ader. Go away! It's one thing to encounter a giant reptile when you don't even have solid land to back you up. And it's another when the same reptilian beast decides to chase you. Why are you messing with me? That should have been her first cue. But I guess she didn't realize how dangerous the situation was. Honestly, she should have left the gator alone after shuffling it away. It doesn't make sense why she'd go back near it, especially when it hissed vehemently at her. Or, and made it clear she was trespassing, but she's clearly one of those who really don't know how stupid their actions can be. Well, at least this ended peacefully. Things could have turned sour any minute. Jaws Jaunt What kind of genius thought it would be safe to explore the ocean in an inflatable boat? That's basically dipping yourself in honey and throwing yourself to the bears. 
a touring group boating off the coast of Mossel Bay in South Africa encountered a great white shark. And if you know anything about these resilient feeders, they'll rarely back off from the chance to get a good chunk. Of course, while most boats would protect you, an inflatable is bound to get you in trouble. Luckily, the tour guide and tourists were quite level-headed and acted calmly. They knew it was best to cut the tour short and rush back home before the shark caught up. Because that inflatable wouldn't be the only thing to blow up. Crockiosity. If this isn't one of the biggest crocodiles you've ever seen, you're lying. That has to be at least four meters, maybe even more. And that's where this fisherman pair messed up. Most of us would have had the sense to back off if we spotted this croc. But this duo, for God knows why, ventured closer in hopes to see the croc from up close. And that goes about as well as expected. That croc is clearly looking for a meal. The scarier part? The video ends just as the crocodile gets in the water, which means it may have had every intent to chase the guys. Of course, this did happen in Australia, so I don't know who's more terrifying, the massive reptile or the Australians. <laughs> Creek Crunch. One brother and sister duo headed to their local creek in Florida on a small kayak and almost ended up becoming gator lunch. Since gators are excellent at blending in with their environment, the siblings didn't realize their kayak was making its way onto one gator's body. By the time they realized it, the gator was obviously irritated. Luckily, the brother had the balls to nudge the gator away. But don't try that at home because you could easily irritate the gator. The sister's reaction, though, sums up every sibling relationship. Shutterbug Stomp These wildlife photographers demonstrated why their field isn't made for just anyone and requires a heck of a lot of balls. Although these photographers were a few healthy meters away from the hippo, it's possible the whirring of their car and their mere presence infuriated the animal. Thankfully, the photographers were out of the hippo's reach, so they didn't get hurt. But I bet they'll have a hard time explaining this to their car insurance. As for their attempts to capture the hippo in its prime, I think they delivered more than they promised. Paddle Panic Oh my god, go babe, go. If you're deliberately heading into gator territory with nothing but an oar and a flimsy kayak between you and the reptiles, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Gators have powerful senses and might be attracted to the kayak, especially if it's colorful or moving in a way that draws their attention. It's not typically aggressive behavior aimed at humans, but more about exploring their environment or responding to what they think could be prey. Well, either way, someone tell them. This couple is lucky the gators stopped chasing. Oh my God, go babe, go, go. Go. I'm serious. Striped catastrophe. Ah! Even a great white shark can't compare to the pure aggression of a tiger shark. The latter are quick to tackle and the slowest to stop, which means getting tackled by a tiger shark is a pretty easy way to meet your end. A kayaker off Hawaii encountered a tiger shark, which instantly locked its jaws with the kayak. Now we all know why sharks tackle bite first, to see if their opponent would be a good meal. But if you see here, the kayaker was literally inches away from a tragic end. The tiger shark could have easily gotten his foot, but luckily it made contact with the kayak, which was hard enough to ward it off for at least a while. Ah! Snack Snafu Talk about biting the hand that feeds you, almost literally. During a crocodile feeding show in a sanctuary in North Queensland, Australia, one keeper almost lost his life when the crocodile he was handling decided it needed a bit more. When the crocodile first lunged at the keeper, he was able to hop to the safer side. But since he was still carrying the crocodile's snack in his hands, 
the reptilian beast still looked interested. A second attempt, and that keeper is incredibly lucky. He's got the fence to protect him. But this brings us to another discussion. Crocodiles and other predators never let go of their wild instincts, which means no matter how many years they spend at a sanctuary, they can revert to their animalistic tendencies. And you never know what flips the switch. So while everything went A-OK, -okay, we know how serious it could have been. Dress to impress. People and their need to impress others often lands them in sticky situations. But let's be honest here, tempting a ruthless predator with a small piece of meat when you're an optimal serving of protein yourself is a dumb move, especially that close. It's possible this guy grew up with these reptilian beasts, but that doesn't really give you the guarantee to venture this close and not expect the croc to react. Luckily, everything went fine, but vanity can be life-threatening. Streamline Stalker Getting into a kayak and making your way into the water with a known crocodile population is absolutely crazy. Luckily, these tourists recognized the crocodile from afar and were able to push a lot of distance between them. But they didn't expect it to start inching closer. Thankfully, they were safe in the end. But if that were me, I'd be freaking out. And you know why? That crocodile practically became invisible. You would truly never know there's a croc in the water until you get too close. I'm the one recording our uh, online death. Rumble in the crocs. Who needs to watch a nature documentary when you can get a whiff of the animal kingdom from up close? A group coasting along a Nepalese river got a little more than they asked for when they encountered a crocodile that seemed to take their presence personally. Crocodiles can feel threatened, or may interpret sudden appearances as threats, so they'll lash out. They're also curious creatures that just can't resist stepping in and inspecting strangers. Of course, it can go the wrong way. And look here, there's another seeking for a potential mate. How weird! While there's one croc getting ready to end life, the other's ready to start it. Talk about the circle of life. Shutter shock. <laughs> this photographing duo went to capture crocodiles from up close, but they forgot one tiny, teeny detail. Crocodiles are predators, and they will act like them. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it seems the crocodile's movements also spooked other animals in the water. As for the photographers, well, they certainly captured one thing, their stupidity. <laughs> Flipper flight. Manatees often emerge on Floridian shores to play around. Though gentle creatures, manatees can be pretty intimidating when they feel threatened or if someone is trespassing on their territory. This is probably why one of the manatees felt it necessary to lunge toward one beachgoer. The manatee didn't have any intentions to harm the beachgoer, but clearly wanted to give out a warning. It did end up terrifying the man way more than expected, and I bet it warned the other beachgoers too. His hiker. <laughs> One man's excursion on Floridian waters turned into quite the nightmare when an alligator decided to hitch a ride and refused to budge. Of course, Floridians being Floridians, this man didn't blink an eye and tried to casually push off the alligator as it was a daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It might even be. Well, it is Florida after all. Gators and people go hand in hand. Deep Dread Imagine kayaking on a vast surface and suddenly something pops up out of the water. Yep, this is where you get the Lassophobia. You're probably wondering what almost knocked out this kayaker. Thankfully, it's not a mythical sea monster, but a manatee. 
These gentle giants of the ocean approach the surface to breathe air. During this, manatees can be quite sensitive to sudden movements or noises. If you approach them too quickly or make loud sounds, they might feel threatened or scared, leading to such accidents. Reptile Romp Okay, this is emergency. <laughs> the Huntsville State Park in Texas is crawling with alligators. It's also a prime swimming spot for children. You can see where this is going. Although alligators in the park live in a separate area, they can occasionally swim their way into the public pools. That's exactly what happened here. And judging by the size and its demeanor, this gator was seeking a good meal. Look how big it is! Luckily, an eagle-eyed bystander noticed the reptile before it reached the children and alerted their families. Almost instantly, everyone united to take the kids somewhere safe. Another bystander decided to scare away the gator. And look at that! The gator really went away! But this technique doesn't always work, so I don't recommend trying that at home. Stun Stint When boaters ventured close to what they thought was the carcass of a shark, they were stunned when it suddenly moved, almost as if it was pretending to have lost its life. But this isn't some shark playing a prank on us. It's basically one of the only flaws in a shark. When sharks turn upside down in the water with their head facing the ocean floor, they enter a trance-like state known as tonic immobility. This prevents the shark from moving around until it's flipped back. If you focus, the shark started moving just as the boat inched nearer, meaning it was probably turned to the right position with the movement. Overboard! I'm literally stuck on them. Imagine getting your canoe stuck on a rock, but the minute you get out into the water to fix it, the rock wakes up and engulfs you. And that's why this man is lucky he realized the rock was actually a camouflaged alligator, which looks equally frustrated over the situation. Here's the funniest part. Ironically, the man in the canoe is the owner of See Through Canoe, a Floridian company that specifically designed this vessel with a transparent bottom so canoeists can see underwater creatures before bumping into them. Well, at least that was the purpose. Talk about false advertising. Captain Crunch. If you ever witness a reptilian head bobbing along the water, you better get your camera ready, because things will go down. One family decided to play with their new water-friendly toy right in the smack dab middle of crocodiles. You've probably realized by now where this is going. Of course, the crocodile immediately locked its eye with the toy, mistook it for prey, and pounced at it. Well, there goes a couple hundred bucks, but this is about everything you'd expect there. Nature's Karma Tourists kayaking in Cape Town got to see the animal kingdom in action up close as a seal emerged out of nowhere and punted a shark. The interaction was so intense it cost the shark its life immediately. Although sharks are typically the ones to eat seals, they are much more vulnerable during their juvenile years and can become an easy target for other larger animals. Interestingly, we're also getting a David Attenborough experience here. The seal didn't just throw the shark, it utilized the surface pressure to target the animal. So we're seeing one of the most unique hunting strategies. Gate Crasher All right, who let their pet gator roam around unleashed on the beach? All jokes aside, this really did happen just recently on Myrtle Beach, where beachgoers were alerted to the presence of a gator fishing for trouble and immediately called the Department of Natural Resources. Luckily, they were able to capture the gator on time and transport it to a safer location. But that leaves us with why and how did the gator even make its way onto the public beach? Well, alligators don't typically like salt water because of its salinity. 
but they may take dips in the ocean to leech off parasites. It's possible this gator simply wanted a cleanse and made its way from a closer habitat. But since it could still harm others, its presence wasn't welcome. Great Grapple Imagine finding out you almost became lunch for a shark, a great white to be specific. Yep, that's some nightmare stuff that happened with a group sightseeing the northern coast of Tasmania. Initially, they couldn't fathom what had struck them, but once they saw the formidable fin emerge from the water, they didn't waste a second and sped their way out. But wait till you find out why the great white tackled them. These sharks are one of the few to actively pursue humans as food, and when they encounter possible prey, they'll give it a nudge to figure out if it's edible. That means the shark accidentally chomping on the boat is what saved these tourists. Flipper off! A man diving off La Jala Cove was blocked by a sea lion basking in the sun. After a few minutes of waiting around, he finally decided to take the risk, but it didn't pay off. The sea lion's almost instant honking and aggressive movements are its way of telling the diver to back off. Although sea lions aren't usually that aggressive, sudden interactions can throw them off guard, activating their defense mode. But you can't really blame the diver either. He really had no other way to go and chose to go back down. The sea lion just didn't seem to budge. The entire thing played off for a good few minutes, until the diver gave up and swam back into the sea. Well, at least that's better than a sea lion chasing you in water. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Don't do that. You don't do that. Stop and board. There's only room for one man in the sea, and it ain't you, pal. It's probably what this sea lion told the surfer. The dive suit clad man was simply trying to ride the waves along a New Zealand beach, but he couldn't get past the sea lion. Although the sea lion probably didn't intend to harm the man, its way of casually scaring him off and giving a cheeky attitude in return was more than enough to convey the message. Sea lions frequently claim public spaces as their own and are known to raise their voice against anyone who dares claim it back. This sea lion's antics even assumed other divers who I'm betting will never let the other diver let it down. Thunder thighs. Tourists are always meddling in mother nature's affairs. So when they finally get a taste of their own medicine, the results can be downright devastating. A hippo trying to chase you out of the water? Terrifying, but understandable. A hippo getting out of the water to keep a thrilling chase? Oof, you've certainly done something bad. I don't know what these tourists did to upset the hippo, but they're clearly not welcome. The monstrous animal could run behind them for miles, and its thunderous footsteps could be the last thing they'll hear. Luckily, the hippo stopped its chase after a while. Maybe it got tired or knew it had won. Either way, these tourists don't know how lucky they are. Kaya Kleptomaniac. Oh my God! Oh, Telling your kayak buddies you lost your vessel to a crocodile sounds insane, but that's exactly what happened here. A couple of friends on a kayaking trip encountered an aggressive crocodile, but instead of going after them, the croc went after their kayaks instead and settled on one kayak and refused to let go. So the kayaker did what most of us would do, he left the kayak. Later when his friends went to retrieve the kayak hoping the croc had long gone, they were surprised to find it still there. Oh my god! Oh Jesus. Guarding the kayak with its life. Well, better give up the kayak altogether and just get a new one at this rate. rock a -bye. Are rivers usually this turbulent, or is Tanzania hiding some vicious, mythical phenomena under its belt? While fishing at a river in Tanzania, two tourists found themselves in hot waters when their boat almost plummeted into the depths. A sudden tide or something eerie? 
Well, luckily, the answer isn't some mythical being, but it's still pretty scary. It seems like the duo accidentally boated right over a hippo, and we all know how territorial they are. Although these folks were strapped for emergencies, they're quite lucky this hippo gave them a slight warning. They realized they were the ones at fault, and quite literally, back pedaled their way home. Touchy Troubles Hawaiian monk seals are one of the most endangered seal species in the world, so encountering them is rare enough. But imagine having the nerve to disrupt one that did make it to shore. This woman and her husband saw the monk seal resting and thought it would be a good idea to nudge it. Of course, they recorded their stupidity as well. Luckily, the seal only scared them off. But they did learn that actions do have consequences. The couple was fined a huge sum for disturbing an endangered species. Sharknado Imagine spooking an entire beach when all you did was try to swim with them. This shark made its way onto a beach in Costa Blanca, Spain, and activated the flight response of beachgoers. Sharks occasionally swim up to the shore, but this doesn't mean they're friendly. It's always best to avoid waters with shark sightings. But if you're ever swimming casually and see fins pop up, you're better off taking the hills. Thankfully, everyone was okay, but they did learn two important lessons. One, don't swim near sharks. And two, if you ever encounter a predator, you don't have to run fast. You just have to run the fastest. Lock and load. Hunger changes you. This seal was enjoying its swim at the beach and even gave beachgoers a few spins to show off. But that's just about it. The minute it spotted someone with food, it instantly changed gears and headed straight for the man. Luckily, the man was smart enough to drop his food and let the seal take it. Otherwise, you never know when an animal stops being a pescatarian. <coughs> <laughs> Aquatic squatters. You're watching a bunch of sea lions shamelessly claiming a public beach for themselves. It's not uncommon for sea lions to stroll to such spots and make them their temporary homes. But it's pretty darn embarrassing having to give up your seat for them. That's not all. Sea lions display such behavior on specific occasions. There are a couple of theories why this happens. Either the sea lions were protecting their pups, which may have been hiding somewhere in the water, or it's mating season and they're out for, well, you know. <laughs> Jaws tax position. Right there, wow. Holy crap. Careful now. These waters are known for sh whoopsie daisies. Whoa, this diver is incredibly lucky. She saw the shark coming from afar. A second later and she wouldn't have lived. The curious and hungry shark went in for a munch, despite her going back up. This is exactly why I like to stay far away from the ocean. Crap. <laughs> it's time for today's open discussion. In 2013, Sarah Boynton took an inflatable raft into Florida's Everglades. This wasn't Sarah's first rodeo. She'd visited and even kayaked around the area several times. But on one July evening, her little trip almost became a story of tragic demise. Just as she was done exploring, an alligator emerged from the water and latched onto her kayak, twisting it until it ripped off part of the rubber. Luckily, Sarah was able to move her kayak on a grassy patch of land, but her troubles didn't end there. Her panic and sudden movements attracted other gators in the area. And the next thing she knew, Sarah was surrounded by the reptiles. Sarah managed to call 911, but it took a while for responders to reach her. Luckily, she was rescued. She's very lucky to, to survive this ordeal. Thank God she had a cell phone. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.